Hello everybody and welcome back to another RC Cars presentation and today we'll be taking a look at the Turkish plane Vici but before we get to uh, him I did want to mention a few things I always say this. this is like exactly my intro every single time I just want to mention a few things but I literally um, you know want to mention a few things but um the ice racers video a lot of you guys actually wanted to see the Disney Store ice racers review like um the metallic ones like these so I will We'll be getting a review out on this probably by the weekend and so that's something to look forward to um oops don't want to move vg there another thing i wanted to show you guys i just got this in the mail today and it, it, it's pretty amazing i really wanted to kind of like complete uh, my uh san diego comic-con exclusives like um set so you know i this is one of the ones i didn't have because i'm pretty sure it was one of the i think it might have been the second or the first san diego comic-con exclusive one they did it was either this or the um what's it called the um i think this is san diego comic-con but i'm pretty sure there was the lightning storm lightning mcqueen which was 2008 this was probably 2009 then tokyo Mater was 2010 2011 was I'm not sure about that one, but I know they have Bathroom Mater. Then this year was the Neon Racers, which I have. So I do want to kind of finish off all these kind of a, a nice kind of exclusive box sets from the um, D23 Expo and um, San Diego Comic Con. So all I need now is the Submarine Fimic Missile, you know, with the tires and stuff. That's the only one I need. And then I've got all of these, which is amazing. Look how amazing that is. I mean, you can't really see it on camera, but it looks like he has rubber tires, but I will never know because I'm not taking this out of the package. But the tires look amazing on there. I mean, you can see that they're like treads there and there's nice silver on there. Same thing with, uh, you can't really see it on the camera. I mean, it's really hard to even see in person, but uh, you can kind of see that the, the Dalmatians have rubber tires too. So that's awesome. I mean, I think these uh, San Diego Comic-Con ones they do nowadays are pretty nice and um so i just kind of want to you know uh, kind of finish off that set and um so yeah because those are always pretty cool to get um and so that's pretty much oh one more thing i wanted to say is that um i actually have a good video coming out soon on um the next 2015 case i actually did not find those i have bought the ones I wanted to buy off eBay, and so then those will be coming hopefully soon, and then I'll have that video maybe on Sunday or Saturday. Um, it really depends on when they come. I mean, they might not come, I'd have to do it next week. But um, hopefully they'll come and I'll be able to do a video on that, and that'd be pretty cool. But um, now let's get into the uh, plane here. And of course, if you guys don't know, this is Vici, the Turkish plane from Turkey, of course. Um, very nice. This is probably one of my favorites. Um, one of the plane, my favorite planes. I, I know I said I like Little King is probably my favorite, but um, this one seems pretty cool too. And we'll, we'll take a look um, and compare him to the other planes. But let's just take a look at the back here. Of course, they show his diecast version and his name. And of course, um, you know you probably want to check out my first video on Little King, and I kind of explain to you why this is like international packaging, basically because it was only released in Canada. Now in the United States, so then that's why it's international packaging. No name on the side there, and um, there's nothing more on the back. So that's pretty much it for the like packaging stuff. Of course, there's his bio that I showed, and so now let's get into the plane. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, check out my first video on Little King, and then uh, that I go into a lot more detail of uh, what happened kind of with these um, five planes. And I think, yeah, this is the third one that I have to, that I've done, so um, two more ago. But um, yeah, let's pull the turntable over. I actually have a bunch of planes right here that I want to compare them to. So, you know, just move it right on over here. So I'm going to make a prediction, guys, that... He is the same model as Jan Kowalski. That is my um, prediction. But uh, here he is. But before we, um, of course, start, um, you know, uh, comparing him to the other planes, we'll take a look at him for who he is actually himself. Of course, he's got a ton, kind of a nice expression, a little smile there. Um, pretty nice. With these planes, you can. It's only really a one-way expression. You can only really see his eyes only at one time. <clears throat> Um, but of course he is the number one racer, which is a nice number to have, I have to say. Um, of course on the back here he's got a few of the sponsors and stuff. It looks like he is, we're having some 
uh, focusing problems today, I'll tell you that. There we go. And it looks like he's sponsored by Aeroflux. I'm not sure what that logo is right there with the yellow and the red over it. Um, but this is Hall Air. Um, and there's a code there, like all the other planes do. IP11796767. S. I cannot talk today, <laughs> but um, okay, so we have a star on the back there because that has something to do with the Turkish flag. Another logo that I'm not sure what it reads, but um, it's really small. Mm, same thing on this side as well, exactly identical to the other side. We got Aeroflex, Hall Air, that unknown logo, and he has a very nice, cool pattern on his wings here. Um, it's kind of like a stained glass kind of thing looking to it. It's got like red background and these green triangle shards <clears throat> going over the red. So that's pretty cool. And then on the base here, nothing too much. Again, he does have the connector for the play sets and has this kind of white stripe on the uh, right wing underneath. And that's pretty much it for Beachy himself. He does have the wheels there and then has a little nub on the back to kind of show that it's supposed to be a wheel, but Mattel is just too cheap to put an actual wheel on there. But you know what, I don't, it's not really a big deal in my opinion, but um, actually, I see, I put my planes on glass, if you remember, and in my collection video, I put my planes on this glass coffee table, so sometimes they get scratched, but usually they're not that bad. But uh, let's get on to the comparisons here. Here is Little King, and now we can first tell that it's not, um, they're not the same model because Vici has much longer wings, as you can see. And if you take a look at kind of his engine up here in the front, you can see that there's no really openings or anything. But um, on Little King, you can see those side openings on the side there when Vici doesn't have those at all. And the wings are obviously different as well, as well as the tail wings. So it's not Little King, which Little King was the same as Yellow Bird, as we discovered in the previous video, who was the same as Ned and Zed. And here is Jan Kowalski, though who I'm pretty sure is the exact same model, but wait a second, am I, did they really make a new model for him again? Yes, they did, yeah, I am very surprised and impressed with Mattel now, they're making new models for these planes, I am really happy with that, I mean, you can see there that the wings are clearly different, I mean, um, you can't really, I mean, it's really hard to get these positioned on the camera so you can see there, but... You know, you can see the wings are clearly different, and it looks like Vici's a lot thinner, his body, yeah, his body is much thinner than Jan Kowalski's, and the tail wings are different as well, wow, I, and it seems to me that the Vici's wings are plastic and Jan's um, are metal. And so that is very nice, a nice surprise there that they had made a completely new model for him. I just wanted to show Subasa next to Vici. I mean, they're clearly different. I just wanted to do it for comparison's sake. But I am impressed with Mattel. They made a new model for Vici. That is very nice. I'm very happy with that. Um, but so that's pretty much it for Vici. So, <coughs> excuse me. He is a um, he is a brand new plane model, and they have not made another one of these, um, which is very nice. Oh, and if you guys were wondering about Co Koila Ivanov, you can clearly tell from the uh, thing right here that his uh, wings are tri more triangle, triangular at the tip, when Vici's are more square, roundish. So there's Vici is a completely new model. That's a pleasant surprise right there. I'm really happy about that. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're having a good week. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow might be Friday or tomorrow might be Saturday. It really depends when I upload this. But I'm recording this now Thursday night. So if I can edit it, upload it. There should be a new song playing in the background, man. That, 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 it was an amazing song that should be playing in the back, at least to me right now. But uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys probably next next uh, this week and uh, this weekend. Um, I'll probably post a few videos. So thank you guys uh, again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.